So, man, if Caesars Palace wants to threaten to kick me out and they want to threaten to 86 me for life and Resorts World wants to welcome me in, where do you think I'm going to go from now on? So over the weekend, I had a crazy experience and it all played out in front of a live stream. And in that same stream, I was threatened to be 86th for life out of Caesars Palace and welcomed into a casino gaming area to film from Resorts World. And it was a, a fantastic view. We're going to talk about that today, plus the rights you do have and you don't have when you go into these properties, because a lot of people think that we have these rights. It's not what you think it is. We're going to explain what happens if the casinos actually try to stop you and what you should do in that case to get yourself out of trouble in hot water. And that's actually a good pertinent video, I think, especially now because, you know, the constant monitoring and surveillance of Las Vegas is in full force. We experienced it a few times, but we're going to go over all that in my different experiences here in Vegas. How's it going, everybody? My name is Steven, and I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. I hope you guys would like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for the future notifications. And uh, if you guys want to support us, Patreon, channel memberships, those are great options. You know, Patreon people get extra content. Channel memberships get an icon next to your name. Both of you guys get yourself in the credits of the videos. So uh, definitely check check that stuff out. We also have VegasFaceMask.com. I'm wearing it underneath. Look at that. You don't even know I have a face mask on. If you need it to travel, to work, to go to school, if you guys need it because a store is still enforcing it, you always have it. The wife makes them. They're two for 25. Go over the back of your head, not your ears. And they're all handmade here in the USA and with free shipping, mind you. So if you guys want to do that, VegasFaceMask.com, no S at the end. Well, let's talk about it right now. I'm trying to keep my intros as short as humanly possible out here, okay? So, over the weekend, I was threatened with a ban for life from Caesar's Palace. I was also welcomed into the resorts world. We're going to talk about why the resorts world is so accommodating to bloggers in just a moment, but we have to address the fact that it Caesars put me in such a position that I was pretty upset on camera, which I don't usually try to do. I'm a pretty, man, I wear my heart on my sleeve, you know, and that's a problem, but that's sometimes it gets, it gets out a little bit more. So we were in Caesars Palace, right? And by the way, share your experience below. Have you ever been kicked out of a place, not just in Vegas? Have you ever been 86th for life? If you guys want to tell us about it, was it your fault? I want to hear that in the comments below because let's, before we get to what happened at Caesars Palace, let's explain something here. First of all, according to the rules of Caesars Palace, I was dead to rights wrong to be filming in the property. How dare you? How dare you, sir? You are not a welcome here with a camera. Totally fine. What is the repercussions for you? I don't know. Are you allowed to take pictures of your bachelor party or video and upload it to Facebook of your bachelorette par party? Apparently not. I mean, according to their filming rules, right? But anyways, uh, this is how it works out here. I'm going to use an analogy because I'm king of analogies. Imagine that you're having a house party. I'm not, I'm not going to use the house party one. That's a lousy one. Imagine you invite a friend over and the friend takes out his phone when he gets to your house and he starts filming your sensitive stuff. He starts going through your drawers, rummaging through your wallet, taking pictures of your credit card going through your wife's lingerie, taking pictures of your baby, and you're like, hey, man, can you stop doing that? And he says, no, I, no, I have every right to be here. You're like, no, you don't. This is my house. Whether you own it or you release it, it doesn't matter, right? And he says, uh, so you say, no, you can't do that. It's my place. He says, you know, go, go to hell. It doesn't matter. You don't, don't matter. You can call the police and get that person 86. You have private rights, and that's what's happening in these casinos. They have every right to tell you to leave. If they don't like my Bill's hat because they think somehow it's tied into gang violence, they can tell me to leave. It doesn't really ha matter, but that's exactly what's happening. And that's why I was kicked out, I suppose. So here's the story as it goes. Now, most of this was eaten up by the bandwidth gods. Unfortunately, I buffered really hard, but I went inside the Omnia. Uh, I went to the Omnia lineup. I wanted to show people the Omnia lineup. It's a really hot topic. People want to know all sorts of things. Hey, what's the lineup for the clubs like? What's that restaurant like? So I figured, okay, I can walk into Caesars, show the lineup, walk in about 50 feet and leave. I don't think there's any gaming tables. I'm not going to see anything. I'm just going to have some people on camera. I'm going to leave. As I was inside there, a guard comes up in behind me, and you'll see the video here, the one part that I do have. And he tells me, hey, you can't film in here. I said, okay, great. I'm going to leave right away. I know the door's right there. I'm turning around and walking away. <laughs> so this is Caesar's Palace. So Omnia is right by the sports book as well. So I'm trying to. But you're still in the casino, so you got to turn off the video. It's not even connected. See that? Just letting you know. Are you really going to throw an 86 me in front of a thousand people? 
I already told you, sir. You you're gonna, so you're threatening to 86 me in front of a thousand people. I already told you, you can't afford on property. But I told you I'm leaving. He goes, no, you have to put down your camera, you have to stop. I said, okay, I'm walking out right now. He continues to follow me and he says, sir, you stop right now or else we're going to ban you, 86 you. And at this point, my bandwidth comes back and I go, really? You're going to 86 me for life? There's a thousand people watching right now. You're going to ban me from the property? I'm trying to leave. And he continuously follows me behind. <laughs> walking. I have to walk out. He's calling for radio backup because I can see him on my front facing camera, this guard. And I walk out. Now I have to walk across the really busy taxi line. I have to risk myself because I have to make a beeline to get from the doors off that property as fast as humanly possible because I like Caesar's Palace. Or at least, you know, I, I like the property. I don't like this uh, guard. I don't like this policy very much. I like the restaurants. I like the forum shops. We've stayed at Caesar's Palace. I have room stays there. Uh, I, somebody gave me a companion card for seven diamond memberships. So I have a diamond player friend at Caesar's Palace. Look, I like the property. It's a cool property, right? But anyways, I leave as fast as I possibly can. The guy's still threatening me. He's radioing for backup, which means that I could possibly have four or five guards surrounding me. They're going to hold me up. They're going to confiscate this piece of property until the cops come. I'll get it back, but that doesn't mean anything because I might be going to jail if the cops decide that they want to take me away. Caesars wants to do something extreme, and then they're going to 86 me for life, which means I can't come back to maybe Caesars or maybe all the properties, which would definitely impede my ability to do live streams and have a good time in Las Vegas, and it would just be a mess. Meanwhile, a few minutes later, <laughs> I'm at Resorts World, and somebody wanted to see the speakeasy. It's a, it's a really cool little bar set up behind a little storefront. They opened the door for me. I asked him, I'm like, hey, can I see the speakeasy? I got a live stream. Are you okay with that? He goes, yeah, yeah. Would you like me to open it up in grand fashion for you? For sure. I don't want to go in and spend any amount of time. Can I just put the camera in there to show my live stream? Uh, can I just pop the camera in to show people they want to see the speakeasy? Of course. Okay, I appreciate Absolutely. it. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. That would be cool. So this is the speakeasy. Got to do the feel. There you go, man. Very nice. I appreciate it. So we're going to take a quick look. This is the back room speakeasy here. I found out that there's a 66 floor lounge and casino on the top of Resorts World. I went up there thinking I wouldn't be able to film anything. And the nice gentleman goes, no, you're totally cool. Um, would you like to uh, go ahead and uh, take a tour of the place? Give me a tour of the place. Yeah. I'm good. I, I didn't realize I probably can't come up here with this. No, dude. no, no. It's perfectly fine. First uh, okay. time here? Yes. Oh, welcome in. Okay. Quick little tour of the place. Sure. So this is gonna be called the, uh, the Sky Casino. Okay. So we're gonna have to. Are you guys leaving out? Yeah, we're good. All right. We're well, thank you guys night. for stopping by. Thank you so much. All right. You guys have a good night. Thank you. All right. So we have the blackjack tables right here. All right. And then to the right hand side, we got the marker table. Okay. Um, if you want to just walk up to the window and get a view, that's totally fine. Yeah. We also connect to the lounge room. Okay. So to the left, you'll see the bar once you enter, and then to the right-hand side, it's a door right over there in the corner. Yeah. You can open it up and step onto the back. And uh, he says, just don't film the gaming areas. Just try not to do that. And that's the thing, right? That's the that's the opposition of the two. You know, if, if somebody approaches you in Vegas, so there's the first tip for you. If you get approached in Vegas, make sure that the guard, you treat them with respect, okay? You don't have to be disrespectful. You don't have those rights, going back to my example earlier. Offer to leave the property immediately. You always do. I did the same thing in the win. We were on a camera in the win. We we're on a live stream. I know the rules of the win are don't film the gaming tables. I wandered too far, found myself in a gaming area. Guard comes up to me, says, Hey, um, turn off your camera. I said, Well, look, here's the thing. There's a thousand people watching. Maybe I can just aim it at the floor and leave. She thought about it, was reasonable about it, and let me walk out like that because it's a reasonable thing to do. So I think I titled this video something like Caesar's Palace has major problems right now. I may not return. I likely will return to Caesar's Palace, but I just don't like the way that they're looking at it. But let's talk about the bigger picture here for a minute, okay? We're in a time right now where people want to come to Las Vegas, but they don't know what's open. They don't know what's good. They don't know the policies. Are people wearing masks here? Are there lineups everywhere? We have no idea. Some of you guys haven't been here for two, maybe three years. You missed last year. Maybe you go every two years, and now your time to come up is this year or next year. So you tune in to us bloggers who also love this city so much that we're walking around in 105 degree heat at 10 o'clock at night just for you guys so we can show you the city. We love the city and we want to promote the city. And then we head up with all this kind of 
friction, right? Does this make people feel like they want to actually go and visit a property like Caesars and they're going to consider the fact that they might want to film them and their buddies having shots at a bar uh, by the casino and sports book because that's right next to Omnia? Does this make people feel like they want to go on their bachelorette party and they want to film something happening on the casino floor? Would they shut you down for filming that kind of stuff? I have no idea. And I don't think Caesars has any idea what their policies are either. Or if they do, they're enforcing them way too hard. And I think it's the new way of looking at marketing right now. Okay. I think that these properties are looking at marketing like, hey, you know what? We're going to get Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars to promote our properties, or we're going to get some big star or some big celebrity because everybody listens to big stars and celebrities, right? Yeah, I mean, they have notoriety. They have millions of followers on their Instagram. They have millions of followers on these platforms. But I think that people really want to look and see what a common person's review is like. I know that I can always go look at camera peripherals and computers and go look at CNET, which is a giant, huge, multi-conglomeration of reviewers, or I can see what somebody who's actually owning the product and bought it with their own money looks at it like and I trust him a little bit more and I think that that's what is being lost to these companies now why is resorts world then allowing so much filming well my sources told me flat out that resorts world is okay with social media people you know just look respectful act respectful don't be causing problems and do things within reason and resorts world has gotten literally millions of dollars of free publicity over the last few weeks upon opening that they could not even buy you can't buy that much prime time airtime primetime airtime. You can't buy that much primetime publicity on all the major news networks, but you can buy millions of hours of watch time uh, for free. It costs you zero dollars and zero cents by simply allowing bloggers to go in and take video stuff and show people things and let people explore the property with them. And I think that would be the best, most logical thing for these properties to do. Now, again, you know, are you guys upset about the Caesars Palace thing? You tell me in the comments below because I'm certainly not happy with it. I think it was a pretty lousy way to treat somebody. I don't think it was the right way to go about things, but you know what? That's their policy and we have to stick to it. There's also places like Bellagio who may have a similar policy, but we've never been asked to leave at the Bellagio and we've walked right past guards in the past. And, you know, even Bellagio seems to be pretty loose on stuff. I think they understand the power of social media. I think they understand the power of bloggers and vloggers basically walking through and not doing anything wrong and not having to worry about somebody threatening to 86 them off the property property for life. And that was just really what caused my breakage in my brain where I'm just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I have to tell my wife that the next time she wants to go to Caesars to walk around the shops that we're not allowed to because we might step into the casino and I might be put in jail. That's no way for me to want to live, no way for anybody to want to live. And I hope that they would consider that when they have their next encounter with whomever it's going to be, because it's certainly not going to be me. I'm not going to even walk on that property if I don't have to. You know, it's it's overkill. It's a bad way to be, but that's just my opinion and I'm allowed to have my opinion. But what's your opinion? You tell me in the comments below. And once again, that's my video today and I'm sticking to it. Good ways to support the channel are Patreon channel memberships, VegasFaceMask.com, no S at the end. And if you guys want to, leave us a comment below and tell us what you think about everything that really helps the algorithm pick up on things and that's how youtube works so uh now's the time of the video where i say three two one click are you ready for this we go through look at the camera go three two one and click Thank you.